Hello everybody, my name is Bears Plays and this is a pirate ship tutorial. Uh how to build one. Um this is actually I was watching a YouTube tutorial. This isn't mine. It's too good to be mine. <laughs> but uh yeah, it's pretty cool looking. I'm not finished with it yet, I gotta watch the rest of that tutorial, but uh you know I really liked his and it really helped out me a lot, so I figured you know it'd be cool if I uh if I do one for my audience. Um yeah. This is the one I built. Uh, it's not the best one. But, um... Yeah, well, I'm gonna show you guys how to build one. Uh, it looks better than this, though. The one I'm gonna show you guys. Um, now, this, this length is pretty good. So... Okay, now you want to start with the bottom, obviously. How I do mine is, uh, I'm sure a lot of pro builders wouldn't like it. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Um, now this just determines size, right here. So I'm pretty sure this one goes like, yeah. So if you want a small one, obviously you could just go like this, that, but, you know, that's a very thin boat. Um, the next size is this. Just go like that. That's how wide your boat would be. Like that. But you want probably like this. That's a standard size. Uh, that's a little bit bigger than this one. But, you know... I don't think you guys want to be watching this tutorial that long. Uh, that's messed up. So we'll just do this size. That's a good size. Obviously you just want to... Like this, it's pretty easy, it's pretty standard. Keep on going. On this, like this, on either side. So you should have a shape like this. Both sides, uh, you fill it in. Obviously, you're not going to have a floating boat if there's holes. I mean, you can add more color, you can customize it. This is just the shape that you want for a standard boat. Not too fancy, not too, well, not too good, but a uh, standard size, a standard look. I think I'm going to do a lot more CSGO and Minecraft and Rainbow Six Siege. I think those are the games I'm going to stick with. We're going to have some of her done, but mostly those three games. Okay, now that's your shape. Now what I do is I go like this, go like that, that, you should be like that so far. So one, two, three, one, two. You know that's a standard boat shape. You know, you could put all the cans you want on this one. You could have very few. You could have a lot. Then you go and you follow like this. And that's your front. It's pretty, like I said, standard. It's not the best, but it's all I can do. Uh, and I don't do the back. If you just want a standard back, I mean, this is kind of a standard. But we're going to make this one look really cool. Like one of my best ones. 
Now the floor, usually I put the floor about here. And then if you could just hold the cans like that with your button. Just go like that. I mean, it's, uh, you could have it this tall, but most of the time I just take this off like that. Let's go like that. Make these tall for like, uh, you know, like uh, torches and all that. You put those for torches. Just keep on going. And you might want to lower this to like that. Maybe put a little slabs. And you know boats, they used to kind of look like that. Or, you know, you can move it back like this. Yeah, like that. Make it a little bit bigger. Bigger front, it depends what you want. Now what I usually do is I do this part right here. Now to do that, I usually use a different color because then, you know, you don't want your ship all one color. That would be kind of weird. But I just go with the darkest piece of wood other than this. So you go like that. You want a block and a half. So block and a half on each one. Like this just keep on going like this it uh, doesn't matter how big you want it um, but you know it's you don't want it too big that'll kind of look goofy so what I do when I'm done I just kind of go like that usually yeah no, it's looking good and yet if you want to hold something to hold it make it look cooler that put those right there and if you want like symmetrical in depth you can go like that and that's that part and you know it's a lot different from this it's a little bit smaller just keep on going like that and make it look cooler there's your front and to make it look a little bit bigger, just put slabs right here. There you go. And um, I'm building a pirate ship right now. Usually uh, ships back then were like, uh, like this color and like this color. You know, for the British and all that. But this is a pirate ship. You know, it's kind of a little scary and all that. Dang it. Can't get that block. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Just keep on going like this. Obviously, this is the floor. But, um, and then, usually what I use, you know, this little slabs that keep on going up to the captain's quarters. This isn't really a big one. The captain's quarters is almost level with it. But, uh, you know, like, if you've seen the movies, Pirates of the Caribbean, you know, the Queen Anne's Revenge just goes up really high from the deck. I like doing my pirate ships like that, but... They kind of look goofy. It takes a lot of time to make them look good. So I'm just going to do standard. Because no one really wants to watch a long tutorial. And I'm going slower than usual so you guys can pick up. So your boat should lo look like this. Usually just go to the end of your boat. You know, and this, if it, like, uh, goes over this, it's no big deal. You can, uh, make it a little bit longer. See, you know it really depends how big your captain quarters is I like it about it's a lot taller and a lot longer than almost the whole ship I don't know why it just makes the ships look so much better like that you know it kind of looks good you know little deck and huge captain quarters but uh yeah okay now that's our shape 
And it, it, it looks weird so far, but uh, it'll look good, trust me. And you kind of go like this, like the last time, just like that. But the difference between the back and the front, you can go like this. See? So it doesn't poke out, it doesn't look like a front, you know? It doesn't look like the head of the ship. Just keep on going up. And then you'll find a place that you need to flatten like this. This needs to be flattened. Just go like that. Like that, and that should be good. Yeah, see the captain quarters, usually I put the glass level where you're walking, but you know, I figured out that this might be better. So I'm doing it like this. See, like that. And you know, pirate ships, they might have black glass, but I'm just going to use regular glass. Like that. And like I said, you can just, just the shape. You know, just the shape that I showed you guys. The standard shape. And then all the rest can be customized, like your own fitting of ship. And usually what I do, I didn't used to do this. But it looks a lot better if you do. I go like this extends out like so like that see what I mean looks a little bit better but you don't have to do it like I said it's fully customizable all you need is the shape that I just showed you you know like the the V shape almost and then the front and then the back is all yours all yours to play with I usually do that to add depth and all that. See? You got little tables and all that. Little. Or you don't have that. You know, you can have counters. Put stuff on, or you don't have to. You can make it a little bit bigger and just remove them. Now, when you walk in, it's a grand entrance for the captain best for the captain am I right uh, da, 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 da. you want it like that so you can goes right over put windows in the captain quarters you don't have to so the crew doesn't see the captain you could go like that but I usually do a step like this so the captain can jump in his quarters you know when he plunders and he's happy you know And then when you're at this point, you raise it like this. You go like that. You don't want it too tall because then it'll just look really plain. So sometimes it just go like this. With a little peak like that. And then I just go like this. And if any of my friends that are using Kick is doing this tutorial, you should send me a picture of uh, the boat you build if you follow this tutorial. You know, just minor little things that, you know, it's to my detail that I like. All you guys really need is the shape. That's what this tutorial is for. I mean, I don't think you guys want mine to look exactly like yours. You might, but... And a lot of ships back then, they had a little, like, like this was taken out. Then you can see the crew on the bottom. So we'll just do that. And, you know, you can line up your mast where you want them. Just straight up. Like that.
that's good. And if your boat looks like this, you know, has the general shape, then you're doing good so far. Uh, then you can have a little, like, flag that goes right here. Not as tall, but because it's not a sail, it's just a flag. But, uh, yeah, it looks good. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to add cannons, but just in case you don't, I'll show you. Like that. No, that's a dropper. We want a dispenser. Now, these things actually shoot. Watch, I'll show you. You take a lever. You take some fire ball, fire some charge, and you load that up. Make sure uh, fire spreads isn't on. See? And you could rig up a cool redstone system for that. And you could have battleships, you know, battle between your friends. Because it burns the wood very slowly. But make sure uh, you don't save so your ships are still there when you're done. And usually I just uh, pick the right spot. That's not the right spot. That is the right spot. Right there. And, you know, for detail, you can just add this little thing. So, just go. What I usually do, I just do a block between them all. And do this. Now, as you can see, it's a lot different than this one. Where the cannons are, because it didn't have this little piece right here. But, it almost looks better with this piece right here, so... You guys are getting the better ship for this tutorial. Put those for the little things that open. Sadly, if you go like this, they don't open. They don't close it. But, you know, it looks good. That's all that matters, right? Do that. And you know, you can add a little cannon right here. Pretty cool. I like adding cannons like that. And maybe one, one right here captain might want to shoot some people but you can't add one like this so you can't add that so I usually don't put it there yeah and you can even you know you could customize you can have cannons everywhere you can have one like like freaking right here you know you know it doesn't really work because unless your guy's gonna stand right here and fire it you know it might fall off you know if stuff moved in Minecraft but and like I said, you can customize it how you want. Put ones in the back. And find a good spot like that. Hello? Out of my way, please. Pete is going to be after me for doing that. But, uh, yeah, that's your shape. Like I said, you can just have this part of the boat. Like I, like I did the V shape. And just, like, start your captain's quarters, like, right here and go really high then down that's how I like them but uh yeah that's your shape you can customize everything on deck I already showed you guys how to make it even wider just do a bigger V I think this one's a little bit wider I don't I don't know no I think it's the same shape that's five and uh that's five so yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, quick before I end this video, I just do my sails like this. I usually don't do sails, I don't know why. I just keep on going like this. Until you get to about, uh, five in width on each side. So about five on this side, five on this side, a total of ten. I mean, a lot, it's not as good as the sales as other people, but it will do. And, uh, you know, right quick, if you guys want to see all the other pirate ships I've made, bear with me here. Let's go to load, and I have ships. Oh, there's, bear cra there's Bear's Craft right there. All the other ships I've created, people wonder where I was uh, away from CSGO for so long. I've been building these puppies.
I have barnacles on this one. Kind of looks like David Jones's uh, ship in the movie. Uh, this one's just a standard ship. But you see how many uh, styles I've went through. This one's really small. But this is actually the newest one I've built. Using my new technique in the front. Because this is how I used to do my fronts. Now I do it like this. Looks good. And uh, this is what I meant about the back being really high. See how the back is really high? It even has a little porch in the back. And has cannons in the back. Just one of my favorite ships so far. All the cannons it has. Uh, the three four biggest ones I've done I think they're all the same size this one and this one are the same size that one's the smallest out of these four but this one's like my ship like if I had to pick one to to uh, be the captain of or sail it would be this one you know it has a little bell you ring it then your reinforcements will come over but this is the big puppy I'm not finished with this one yet but it's huge all the cannons it has I think it has this deck that you can kind of jump in then this one even has another one see that's yeah oh wow infinite warfare and this is uh this was a ship but I noticed it was way too long and I really didn't want to redo it so you know I built a crack in killing it and destroying it yeah then this one we have this one it's uh another barnacle ship a crash ship that came back on land this one's really cool it's got two balconies yeah these are really cool there's a little sunken one right there uh, this one's called sweet revenge the captain is captain kid I think this one's called the sea angel captain longbeard We've got he's over here got the uh, the black diamond kind of like the black pearl <laughs> Uh, Captain Will, I got, uh, I think this is Willie, yeah, Captain Willie, uh, Sea Wreck. I got the, uh, Cursed Vessel, and Captain One-Eye. This one's weird, uh, this is the first one I've done like this. You just go in and there's your cargo, and then there's the front. It's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't really like it, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's a ship. You gotta try some new stuff. Got all these cannons. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I'm going to put in the uh, title. Just watch the end. You can see all these ships. But uh, thank you for watching. And uh, have a good day.